This spring, the Israeli Ministry of Tourism opened the new Gospel Trail in the Galilee in northern Israel. The 60-kilometer trail will allow pilgrims and tourists to walk, bike, or drive from Nazareth, Jesus' childhood home, to the shores of the Sea of Galilee, the center of his ministry. At the trail's start on Mount Precipice, we were lucky enough to have the Latin Patriarchal Vicar for Israel help bring alive the holy landscape with stories and readings. But passing through the midst of them, he went away. They wanted to throw him from the mountain to the plain because they didn't believe in him. Our group included seminarians from Domus Galilei, as well as musicians from Nazareth's New Life community. From this spot where Pope Benedicto XVI gave a mass on his visit in 2009, we then began the beautiful springtime walk down the first part of the trail. From here, we traveled by bus to Mount Arbel, re-meeting the trail near its end at the Sea of Galilee. Here is the trail coming from Nazareth. In the 60s, the re rebellion against the Romans, let us say, started from Galilee here, and all those caves were full of rebels. And then, finally, to the trail's end at Capernaum. People who, who walk from Nazareth, from Mount of Precipice, here, it takes about three or four days. But when you come here with this special landscape, this atmosphere, it's really uh, give the inspiration at the end of the road. And the culmination of many visitors' trips here is traveling across the water to Tiberias. The wooden boat is a replica of a boat from Jesus' time that was excavated on the shores of the sea. On board, the different groups contribute music to a modified mass that evokes the spiritual history and power of this place. And Bishop Marcuzzo reads New Testament passages that recount the many miracles that Jesus performed here. And the great storm of wind arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. And he awoke and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were filled with awe. 